probably would miss the people because uh, they're very friendly and uh, they're community minded and they try to help each other. Uh, I have very deep roots here for my great great grandfather came over here in uh, from Germany and built the house that I bought the farm and house that I was living in in 1858 and so we have deep roots on our farm for I am the fifth generation to farm the land and stuff where we live. What is your favorite part of the community? My favorite part of the community is uh, people getting together and um, the experiences that we share and the uh, fun that we have uh, as a, co a collective unit. So what I mean by that is uh, I enjoy being out and about and uh, seeing people and connecting and talking and sharing experiences and uh, I enjoy it. And now my uh, daughter Ariana and daughters Ariana and Elena also get to be involved and that is even more special. Describe your town in 10 years. Who is here and why? Hard to know. Little towns are changing their definition all the time. I would hope that in 10 years we would have more storefronts filled, uh, more restaurants, uh, that we would have more cultural and arts offering. I would hope we would have more of the millennials living here. What has your community lost that most matters to you and why? Well, I studied that question a while and I came up with two things. In Poseyville, we used to have a little local diner. I miss that diner. It was a place, it opened at 4.30 in the morning. Us farmers get up early. We like to go eat and get to work. And I miss going up there because your friends were up there. They fixed a fantastic plate lunch at, at noon. And, but it was a place for, you know, friends and farmers and policemen. We all came there every morning and, you know, shot the bull, had, had fun, and then we went and did our work. Another thing that, that is, is the older generation, like we're doing this generation to generation thing. I miss the generation before mine. Those guys, those older men, they were like my mentors and my advisors. And when they had something to say, you listen to them and you learn from it because they were telling you stuff that they learned from their past experiences, what not to do or what to do. So I really miss that older generation. I'm getting to be that older generation now. And, and I really miss those guys. Yes. So uh, we lost our school and it makes me pretty sad. Uh, because I believe that um, a long time ago, uh, 20 years ago, or if, well before you were around, um, and when I was a lot younger, that people could have gotten together and said, what do we want uh, for, uh, for our county, for our community, from an education perspective, and made sure that we could have kept a school of some type here in New Harmony, because I believe it's a great place to have a school. and uh, so. Um, that, it, uh, that makes me sad, but there, I, there's also opportunity uh, with that as well. So this is a total different turn, but say for a day you were mayor. <laughs> what is, what's one or two or a hundred things you would do? What's something you would do that'd be change or add on to or anything like that? I really don't know what's going on down Mount Vernon, but if I had, well, that's strictly Mount Vernon. I'm in Robinson Township. Okay. There'd be some things I would change in Robertson Township. Well, all over in Posey County, I'd like to see some new roads. Yeah. Because my daughter, my uh, friend lives on a road where they think it's her lane, and they do not keep it up. So when it's raining, we go through mud. They might dump some gravel on that, and then you go through it gravel. washes out. <laughs> Down Mount Vernon, I think they need more activities for the children. As far as I know, I don't know what they have to offer. We used to have a skating rink. 
I remember that. You yeah, <laughs> I do. We used to go there for birthday parties all the time. Well, I'd, I'd skate down every night out there. Mm -hmm. And then they had that pool in town. Well, they got one out in the country now. I'm in mean, that Brittleback Road, is that one? Country the Club jail? and, yeah. Oh, Brittlebank, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And we had a park down there where, not as nice as it is now, that's funny, though, that you said entertainment, because that's whenever I was thinking about, what would I do if I was mayor? I mean, okay, maybe what, I don't. what would you suggest? That's, I <laughs> said the same thing, is that I would add sub for entertainment, because now, if you want to do anything besides bowling, you have to go to Evansville. You're right, true. You can't do anything here, because they tore everything down, and so there's bowling. There was a bowling and alley. It. And there's still, Posey Lanes is still there. Well, no, but. it was above... Oh, is it the A&P grocery store on huh? Main Street. How would you define change? I would define change as a development in pretty much anything, whether good or bad. How do you define change? Somewhat similar. I, it can be positive or negative, uh, but it will be different from what is present and, and uh, current. What do you think change is? Um, I kind of think change is like when a whole community uh, has to make a difference because of a problem that has come up. Yes. Yeah, anyway, when a problem comes up, that brings out the best of everybody trying to solve it like a disaster. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. So what would you define change as? Um, I would define change as moving forward and looking at things that need to be fixed and doing those things and not leaving, not forgetting where you were, but happily moving forward and making the right things that will benefit others. Um, Jenna, what would you define change as? So I would define change as something, you know, positive or it could be negative too that just happens over time. You know, hopefully it's something that benefits in a positive way, but you know, that, that doesn't always happen. But I think it's really important to learn from change and to be able to grow from it. Do you see yourself being here when you're my age? No. And why? Because I want to be a marine biologist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I, I wish you the best, and I understand why. Yeah, but you can always come back home, right? Yeah. Yeah, good.